Hello guys, my name is Amy Bello and I'm here at the London Met Hotel to celebrate the 11th annual Screen Nations Award. I'll be talking to people in the industry to find out what they think about the Screen Nations and what it has to offer for the future generation. So stay tuned and find out what they have to say. Congratulations on your nomination tonight. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, feeling great. It's feeling awesome. It's great to be here, great people, um, great to be recognised essentially um, and be amongst such talented nominees. You know, my peers are, are great and it's just great to be here, man. It's great to be a part of something which is definitely moving our scene and our diverse scene in the right direction and just being a part of that is great. And what are your thoughts about how the Screen Nation celebrates diversity? Um, I look, at the end of the day, you know, um, diversity is what people, well, people are diverse. You're not just one personality. And I think that, you know, it's, thanks to, you know, the, the, nation, the Screen Nation Awards, it, it basically celebrates the fact that, you know, black people are able to do groundbreaking things within a small continent. I don't see there's anything wrong with celebrating diversity. There's so much talent in the UK. I think it's always important to, to celebrate as much of that as possible, which doesn't always happen with the mainstream awards. So that's why awards such as this are very important, because it shows perhaps the talent that sometimes falls under the radar. I think it's fantastic to always uh, expand the, the, the artistic nature of, of this work. And sometimes it's hard because, you know, now it's a lot of politics, there's a lot of talking and all that kind of stuff. But it, it's, it's good to just celebrate the, the good things. And there are loads of artists that I didn't hear about before today that I have, I've now heard about and I'm, I'm intrigued by. And that's important. I think the important thing is, as many people have said, we shouldn't need an awards like the Screen Nation. It's a, such a wonderful thing that Charles Thompson has put this together and year after year it gets through the door and we do this. Yes. But really, it should be an awards show for everyone yes. where everyone is given an equal playing field. And the problem is Screen Nation exists because everyone is not given a playing field. And until that happens, Screen Nation will still exist. Uh, Screen Nation was definitely uh, an awards show that helped, I wouldn't say so much put me on the map, but definitely make me, uh, my, my profile, it, it expanded it. It broadcast it more so, do you know what I mean? Because obviously uh, this is a show that's so pertinent for actors of colour, it's, it's needed. If we don't have Screen Nation, then us as performers or writers or directors or program makers, we don't feel appreciated for what we do. And we need Screen Nations. So I'm thankful that they have an, you know, uh, you know, ceremonies like this, events like this, and it's been going for a long time. I remember I was in drama school when Screen Nations were popping off. And it's really nice to to get all the British talent recognised, celebrated, and on a platform like this. You know, I think it's I think it's really important. Yeah. What does uh, what does Screen Nation mean to me? It means um, it means about rewarding people yeah. for their efforts, for their talents, for their beliefs in their craft and their art. And uh, when they are rewarded in front of their own people, I think it, it, it says a lot because it's, uh, you know, there, there is an awful lot of talent in there. I thought, it was, again, it was really comforting to hear people talk about, you know, anything you need to make, take the next step in your career is in this room. I think the Screen Nation do a fabulous job of celebrating, you know, people in, you know, the industry who are of, you know, ethnic uh, backgrounds. And um, it creates a, an awareness of, you know, opportunities to, you know, create for um, roles for people in the TV and film industry. And um, last year, um, I was luckily invited and also given the award for the Digital uh, Media Award. And that was amazing to be able to have your work, you know, recognised. And, you know, Screen Nation is one of those, you know, industry. Um, institutions that creates this you know, opportunity to celebrate this. So yeah. I think it's very important to have, to have it. I think it's amazing. I think it's great that someone can actually acknowledge the talent that people have put together and the hard work you know, that they're putting. I think it's amazing. I'm just proud to be a part of it. to the youth of 
today in terms of um, inspiring them to do what they want to do in terms of the media industry? Um, I would advise youth today to basically learn about their industry that they want to tackle or, or anything that they want to do or any dreams or it inspirations that they have they should definitely do their research on it because it's, it's not all what it seems and um, you know and never give up do you know what man you know what? as far as I'm concerned it's not an overnight process yeah. you know Rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> it's all purely about obviously working hard and dedicating yourself to the craft do you understand and that's the only way you can obviously uh, learn the tricks of the trade so let's be smart about what we're trying to do let's you know get into a situation where we are surrounding ourselves with people like-minded and working hard because naturally we are at a disadvantage you know being where we are from and, and, and the background that we come from so we have to work twice as hard and we but we have to know that working twice as hard is also about working twice as smart so we can utilize the resources we have and you know constantly move forward so yeah anyone that's out there you know trying to filmmake and, and create things please continue and please carry on because it's really important man um work together don't just feel like you have to do it alone, support each other. Um, remember you can always say no, remember that you're enough. Um, and if, you, if it's genuinely what you love, like don't get in it for the fame. There is nothing interesting about fame. Um, but if it's actually what you love and you feel like you have something to give and share with the world, that's enough. Be integral to yourself, be true to yourself and don't feel like you need to change for anyone to get to where you need to get to. What would you say to the young generations who are trying to get into your position because you're such, you're like a massive person now? I, I really don't feel like a massive person and the more you don't the better I'd say. Yeah. It's, it's, it's important um, and just to stay working and just to stay persistent and keep your heart right. Oh I say go for it. Yeah. They're probably going to have such an easier time, you know. Oh, come on. You know, you ask Lenny, ask people like me who've been in it for a long time, the chock eyes jokes and everything else. You ain't going to have to put up with that crap anymore. You know, you can actually be out there and you can stand in your own two feet and you can talk positively about the, your project or whatever you're involved in. And that is what, what, what's so encouraging. And why I say to the, uh, the youth who are coming into it or the media, it's because there's so much in the old days, there's BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, and then later on there was something called Channel Four. <laughs> now, not Channel. And if you don't want that, you can go on the internet, you can create your own channel. So there's opportunities for everybody. What I would say to the young generation that's out there listening right now is to master your craft. You know, everyone has a vision, a God-given vision, and it's important to understand your purpose and bring it to life. So that's what I would say to them. Man, I love